This is the Sales Babble Podcast, episode 512, The Dark Side of Winning Confidence When Selling. Welcome to Sales Babble, the podcast that shares selling secrets for non-sellers. And now your host, Pat Helmers. Hello, sales babblers. It's Pat Helmers. And this is the podcast that embraces the effortless action and Taoist style of non-pushy sales. Now, this may sound surprising, but did you know that closing a deal may carry negative consequences akin to, like, losing a deal? And did you know that excessive confidence can be problematic as fear? Now, this assertion that winning is always good raises questions that suggest success may not always be advantageous. Whether facing a shortfall or exceeding quotas, this warning about winning confidence underscores the importance of honesty, humility, and understanding one's limits in professional interactions. So in today's episode, we're going to explore what happens when you assume or you consider the extremes as good or bad. Today, we're going to center on what's important, the center. But before we start, make sure and subscribe to the podcast. That way you never miss an episode. You can follow us on Facebook, X, and myself on LinkedIn. If you want to know where, you can find links in the show notes. So with no further ado, let's get to it. And now today's chapter. Winning and confidence. Winning a deal can be just as bad as losing a deal. Confidence can be as bad as being afraid. What? How is it true winning may be bad? Behind in your quotas, the only way is up. Exceeding your quota, the likely way is down. Set aside all this worry. Take care of your prospects. How is it true confidence may be bad? Fear can stop you from doing your job, but confidence can get you in over your head. Be honest. Temper your arrogance. Know your limits. See yourself in your prospects. If you love your prospects as yourself, the world will entrust you with more prospects. And now today's story. It had been a month since Chris started setting up appointments for Pat. Chris's cold calling numbers were weak and, quite frankly, borderline unacceptable. Concerned at the end of the week, Pat asked, I can't help but notice you're not making a lot of dials. And when you do connect, your calls are very short. What's going on here? Well, said Chris, I'm just not comfortable calling people out of the blue. I'm trying. And I hope you can see that. But I hate to bother people. I dread getting robocalls myself. I just don't feel good about it. Pat nodded. I get what you're saying. But what we're doing and what those robocalls are doing are two completely different things. We only call people we think we can help. We don't pitch without first listening. Nor do we call at odd hours of the day. You have nothing to be ashamed of. Instead of focusing on your fear, remember the anxiety your prospects struggle with every day. Maybe we can help them overcome their business challenges and help them get a good night's rest. The only way we can help is to reach out and ask. Keep dialing. In time, the fear will fade. Tilopa, the founder of the Kangyu school in Tibetan Buddhism, said, quote, Let go of what has passed. Let go of what may come. Let go of what is happening now. Don't try to figure anything out. Don't try to make anything happen. Relax right now and rest. End quote. The truth can be found between any two extremes. Combine the extremes and you will have the true center. 
It's in the center. Buyers and sellers delight. To download a copy of this week's chapter of the Tao of Sales Babble, you can find it in the show notes at salesbabble.com. And while you're there, you can sign up for our brief weekly newsletter with links to the podcast sent conveniently to your inbox. Next, if you could do me a favor and share this episode with a friend who's also interested in growing their selling skills, please do. Word of mouth is the premier way of growing our sales community. And if you have any questions about sales, don't hesitate to reach out. You can find me on LinkedIn or click the Babble Me link on the website. Sales is one of my favorite topics. I can help you out. With that said, that's all I have for this week. Until next Tuesday, take care and have a highly successful and a profitable selling day. Thank you for listening to the Sales Babble Podcast. Find us at www.salesbabble.com. This is a production of Abenero Media.